Good afternoon from Power Wash Store of Central PA. Giving you a look here at one of our eight foot drop-in skids that we're just wrapping up for a customer. All of our drop-in skids are going to be custom made for the truck that it's going to go into. So what that's going to mean is your shelves on either side are going to be measured uh, so that they rest right on the bed rails and then the base plate there is going to be in the bed of the truck. Just going to give us a little bit of extra stability there for the shelves so that they're not bouncing as this truck travels down the road and incurs potholes and whatever else you come across on the road. So this skid is set up for both pressure washing and soft washing. We have a 5.5 gallon per minute pressure washer here on the right with a GX690 engine. And on the left we have our VMAC air compressor. This is one of the larger air compressors and that's going to allow us to get more distance, more volume and more flow uh, with our pump that we're running. So this VMAC is a 30 CFM compressor. It's going to be run with a half inch all flow pump, which I will show you in just a minute. That's over on the shelf here. Now this VMAC compressor uh, can operate without having a tank, but we opted to have the auxiliary tank installed as well. It's just going to be down here underneath the bed. So we have that tank back there, but then you can see we still have lots of room for storage. You can actually fit a five gallon pail underneath this shelf here. In addition, surface cleaners and anything else that you're gonna need to carry along on the job site. So as you can see, these truck skids are packed pretty full because we are limited to the space that we have in the back of a pickup truck. So over here on the left-hand side, of course, in the front there, we have our proportioner. <clears throat> over here uh, we have a 48 inch toolbox inside this toolbox we have some 12 volt pumps um, one of the 12 volt pumps is just going to be a backup pump in case something happens with the air diaphragm setup they're always going to have a way to finish the job whether it be with the 12 volt system or downstreaming from the pressure washer and that second uh, 12 volt pump is just going to be a bleach transfer pump we like to have our rigs set up so that you don't have to take lids off of um, your tanks in order to fill them. Um, so we have that 12 volt pump here. You will click in on these ends here. One is for filling your tank, the other is for rinsing that pump out after you're done. You hook up to your bleach tank and that pump is going to fill into your bleach tank without having to take that lid off. Now we have modified this tank here. Um, we have a bleach vent installed here. So this one hose is just a, a vent line that's gonna be run somewhere on the truck uh, to vent that tank out from the bleach since we are not removing the lids. Then we just have a series of ball valves that operate with that, uh, with a 12 volt system for rinsing and filling. Next we have our half inch all flow pump two seven gallon soap tanks that are gonna work with that proportioner and then our 11 gallon fuel tank. This skid has the 270 gallon water tank. And then we have a hundred gallon tank for our bleach. And then our hose reels are on this side. These are the electric reels and these are Hanny reels. You can see these, uh, this ball valve over here is our hose reel bypass. So when we're running our chemical line, we're not going directly through that hose reel, uh, but rather through that bypass line. It's gonna help give you uh, less restriction by eliminating that half inch manifold that are in, you know, that's standard on your hose reels. Uh, that gives us a three quarter outlet there for our hose that connects with our 5 8 spray hose. Then we have 300 foot of 3 8 two wire pressure washing hose and 220 feet of three quarter garden hose. If you're looking for a skid something like this or something completely different, give us a call. Power Wash Store of Central PA 717-378-2276. Thanks for watching and have a great day.